channel Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Now this video is quite a different video. Recently there have been some rumours floating around about me and they're not particularly nice, accusing me of being a fraud, um, saying that I didn't really do the thousand dollar project, that I really have a secret sugar daddy who pays for everything. Now normally I wouldn't really give a crap about what people are saying about me because deep down I know myself what I do is truthful, honest and authentic and all you guys who have been following me for a really long time know what I stand for and I practice what I preach. However, I thought I should be proactive and get on the front foot and squash these ridiculous and silly rumours right now so that we can move on forward and all help each other become more financially wise and sensible and actually enjoy our money guilt free. So the first rumour is I'm a fraud because I like designer handbags and I drive a European car. I have literally had people say to me, you know, I should take a photograph of you right now, you're standing here with a Chanel handbag and I was like, well, if you watch my channel and you listen to what I'm saying, I'm all about balance in life. We come into this world with nothing and leave with nothing. It's about having a good time and it's about being financially responsible whilst you're here. Now, when I do buy a luxury designer handbag, I spend a lot of time planning and preparing for it. I save up for a really long time. I do lots of research to make sure that it fits within my own capsule wardrobe. But most importantly, it is quite far down my list of responsibilities. I always make sure I honour my financial priorities and responsibilities first, which means making extra payments on my mortgage, investing in my own personal private share portfolio, making sure that I've always got emergency savings, making sure I'm on top of my budgets and I understand where my cash flow goes. And I also make sure I don't reward myself with a handbag or any other sort of luxury without making sure I've achieved all of my goals, not just financial goals, but my life goals as well. And then when I do you know, get that moment where I get to go and buy that designer handbag, I enjoy it guilt-free and I wear that handbag with pride. So if you see me walking down the street with a nice handbag, come up and say hi and I would love to hear your story and what you stand for financially. But remember, I practice what I preach. Next rumor is, I have a secret sugar daddy. Now I laughed my head off um, when I heard this because um, whilst I have a fantastic boyfriend who is very kind and generous to both myself and Rocco, I'm also incredibly generous and kind back to Tom. We don't have joint bank accounts. Um, he lives in his place and I live in my home. Occasionally he might you know, take us away for a weekend or take us to dinner, but then I will do equal things to show gratitude and thanks back to Tom. So that might be noticing that he's short on some new clothes or he needs some new homewares for his house or um, helping him out by doing all his Christmas shopping for him. We both respect each other financially and yes, one day maybe we will become a team and combine finances and work together, which will be a really great video to talk about. But at this stage, we are completely financially independent. When I pay for my mortgage, when I pay for Rocco's clothes, my clothes, the food, um, the electricity, insurance policies, that is all my hard earned money. Tom and I are completely financially independent. And then the third rumor is, I didn't do the thousand dollar project. And this actually came from a really good friend of mine. She was like, like, that's amazing, but you didn't actually really do it. And I was like, um, have you been living under a rock? You're one of the few people I haven't been driving up the wall talking about the thousand dollar project and saying, oh, sorry, I can't do that, or I'm saving, or I'm, you know, looking for different, cheaper alternatives. And I was really shocked um, about her questioning whether I actually did it. The thousand dollar project is real. I regularly now show you exactly where that thousand dollar project money is invested. I show you a snapshot on Sugar Mama website, which I will link in the video description box below. So you can see exactly which shares and ETFs and listed investment companies I've invested that money in. And for each blog post that I've lodged a thousand dollars, I've explained also how I have come up with that money. And you will see that some of those blog posts are quite frequent because I've been in like this, this amazing zone where I've been able to get lots of opportunities to earn and save and make extra money. And then there's been like long periods where it's been a really painful slow period of you know thousand dollars being made up of lots of little bits of twenty dollars here and fifteen dollars there but yes I genuinely did it I can show you the um, the paperwork that has all the shares that I bought and the dates and the amounts it is completely legitimate and that is why I wrote a book about this so I could inspire you back 
In fact, when it comes to the $1,000 project, one of my most motivating drives was to do the $1,000 project so I could really change your own attitude and mindset when it comes to money. So that you realized yourself that you are just as powerful and just as capable as, as I am. If I managed to save and invest $32,000 over 12 months, imagine what you could do yourself. And remember, not a dollar came from my savings and not a dollar came from my salary. Now that is just a rule I put on myself. You can actually do the $1,000 project yourself and take money out of your own salary or your own savings. So with that additional leg up, you definitely can do better than I can from the $1,000 project. Now to end this video and to also end these silly, ridiculous rumors, I want to say one last thing. By me sharing with you my own personal financial successes, strategies, ideas, mindset, tools, I help you with your own financial future. By me shining brightly, I'm able to shine light in your own financial world and hopefully awaken something deep within you where you realize how capable you are and you feel inspired and empowered to step up and have a go at using all these ideas and strategies and tools yourself to improve your financial future both right now and well into the future. I want my success and energy to empower you so that you can then take this on and inspire and empower others around you. Have a great week guys, thanks for watching.